Hey, what's up YouTube land? Eddie Hill, and I'm back. It's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing something from my collection. And this is kind of based on a Michael Bay character. Way before the Michael Bay Last Night movie Drift. And this is the Generations Drift. I do not have the Michael Bay version. And he rolls very well. Because he's a Japanese car with Japanese symbols. And he's like a samurai. And that's pretty cool about Drift. And I like that. And I do not have the original packaging to compare this to. So we're going to get down to Transformation on Peg. His long sword with the Japanese symbols. Look at that. If I can get him to focus good. Look at those ancient Japanese samurai symbols. That is awesome. They molded the blade this good. And now we're going to get down to transformation. I'm adjusting my tripod accordingly. The We're going to first... These arms up, unpeg the doors, accordion the legs, upwards, and so far, so good. Now we're going to fold these heel pieces up, and we'll have the legs done pretty soon. And there we got the legs ready to go. And I have his other blades on another figure. I will show off which figure. We're going to fold these panels up. Yep. And we're going to his windshield up to form his chest. We're going to rotate these around. So I can get them straightened out. And flip around his arm, and then we got an arm all done. Second verse, just like the first. Cordy and the arm up, straighten them out. And there we have Drift. As soon as I can get him to stand, there we have Drift in his robot mode. And he is a complete remold of the Universe Classics Blur. I do not have the original Universe Classics Blur or the Titans Return Blur. But given I wanted to do this figure for so long since I've had it, and it's the best continuity of drift I had. And look at those eyes, look at the paint, it's really great. Not bad for a Universe Classics figure. I love it, hands down. And now we're going to get down to the most important thing, comparison. And since we're talk we were talking about Michael Bay's last night, we're going to compare him next to leader Megatron. I don't have a last night movie barricade to compare Generation Strift to. But I am getting the one step changer this week, so I'll do a comparison. This week. And that's all there is to say. For Megatron. And now here he is next to. Of course. A. A past line. That came before Earthrise. Here he is next to. None other than Nightbird. A repaint of Chromia. And like I said. They look interesting together, if I do say so myself. And finally, another sword wielding Autobot we're going to compare her. Com another sword wielder. Sorry about that. I had a moment of stuttering. Compare Drift right next to R&D Windblade. And they had a showing in Transformers Cyberverse. So that's not a bad comparison if I do say so myself. You're probably wondering, why did I give 
drifts to small swords to Nightbird. Because to me, Nightbird has half has to have swords. And I'm fine leaving Drift with this huge sword, which he can double wield if you get it posed right and he can go like this and be like double wielding the sword, that's awesome. But I'll probably wield him with one with one hand with the sword. And you're probably wondering, how much did I pay for this? I got this from Monroeville Still City Con before the corona hit. And he was, I think he was around 20 bucks. You could probably find them uh, maybe complete on eBay for a good price if you don't have the Michael Bay Generations Drift. Not Michael Bay, but the Michael Bay Last Night Drift. Or the Michael Bay Age of Extinction Drift. This is a well good fill-in. If I do say so myself. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out.